Hey everybody, it's Casey here. So today's video is going to be a spring themed get ready with me. Lots of bright colors and fun stuff going on. So first of all, I'm just going to start by using my Remington wand. I've had this for like five years and I have not used it in a couple years and I was surprised to see that it really works still. And my hair is really difficult to curl because it's short and I have a lot of layers in it, but I just take random sections and curl them. I like the messier look, so I'm not really too precise about it. I take different size sections, just, you know, to make sure that it's not too uniform. So this is just how I do it. It's difficult, but uh, I like the final outlook, the outcome. And it's just an easy, messy hair tutorial. In the end, I end up putting up in a half bun because when I curl the top as I'm doing now, it gets really big. I have a lot of hair. So I just put it in the top knot and go on about my day. Now I'm taking the infallible total cover in the shape 301. And I'm using a flat top kabuki brush from Tarte. I am just blending that in on my face. Make sure you get the neck. We don't want any harsh lines. I have some redness on my face, and I feel like this foundation covers it well. It's not my favorite foundation, but it's uh, maybe my favorite drugstore foundation. Now I'm just using the L'Oreal Beauty Blender type deal to make sure everything is blended out. Because I don't want any harsh lines anywhere. hands look so dirty. I'm sorry. I think that's from ink pens for my job. I always bust in my apron. I hate it. Now I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics Cream Concealer. I will link it down below. Um, I bought this for $24 at Ulta. A lady recommended it to me and I don't think like it for highlighting. I I like it for covering. So it is really thick and full coverage. And I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, they're out of the tart shape deep concealer in the lightest shade, which is what I prefer. Now I'm using the NYX HD Studio Concealer just to do the highlighting because like I said, the other one's too thick and this one is just right. So I'm going to apply that under my eyes and down my nose and my chin and my forehead and my cupid's bow just to make us bright for springtime. And I am going to blend that using the same L'Oreal Little Beauty Blender. Um, I did have to throw this one away because it's pretty gross and dirty. So if you have any tips on washing the sponges, let me know down below. Because I would love to learn how to like get them like real good deep cleaning. Because mine, they always get that, that stuff just taped in there eventually. And I'm like, ugh, it's time for a new one. Now I'm using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And I am taking a tart brush and I'm dabbing that all over my face. I don't want to rub it because I don't want the product to move around. So I'm just setting my face with this to make sure nothing goes anywhere. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. blush palette. I think it's the light one. And I'm taking this bronzer and I'm just bronzing everything because I'm very pale. And I want to look a little, a little more sun-kissed. So I'm just applying this to my crown brush that I got my boxy charm. It's a giant fan brush, and I love it. I think it works really well for this purpose. I'm just blending it all out. This is my Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. My champagne pop sadly shattered, and I have not fixed it yet. But I'm taking the color Rose Spritz. And I'm applying that to my cheeks. It is very pigmented. I do like really rosy cheeks, so I don't mind it. But you do have to blend it out a lot. Or you're going to look like a clown. And if you want to look like a clown, come cool. Here is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. I mix those together and I apply them to my cheek bones. And then they make a really pretty combination. And I just love this palette. I really need to fix it. Only my highlighters break. I don't know why. With my jumping star highlighter, like my highlighters always break, nothing else breaks, no matter how many times I drop it, and it's really frustrating because highlighters are like my favorite. 
and then they just shatter. Now I'm using the Mario Bodesco, I don't know how you say it, rose water spray just to set my makeup right now and let everything melt together and it smells really great and I just let it dry a little bit. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I'm using this yellow shade as a transition color in my Elizabeth Blount Blending Brush. And just setting that down. Now I'm using the orange shade in the palette just to add some more definition to my crease and get us all springy colored. Now I'm taking this hot pink shade and I'm adding that lower in my crease. Just to, uh, I just want this look to be like a giant pop of color, you know? I think it's really pretty I'm just to uh, spray makeup, and just be really colorful, and go all out. Now I'm taking a Real Techniques brush. This one does not have any products on it, so I'm just blending. They are going into Real Gar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm just using this on my lid and to get the crease even more defined, I'm using a Luxie brush. And I really love this palette. I hit the pan on two shades and I'm so sad about it. Because mm, I don't want to go out and buy a whole new palette for two shades, but they're obviously my two favorite. And then I'm taking this shade. I'm going to leave all the shade names down below because I don't really remember what they were. And I've moved since this, so I don't really take notes. And I'm just using this to put all over my lid and add a nice bright pink shimmer. Then I'm taking my Luxie brush with a real gar on it to blend it out. I could have blended it a little better, I'm going to be honest with you. But the past is the past. Okay. Now I'm taking a real light nickel brush with the same shade on it to highlight my brow bone. And just add that pop of shimmer. Mm, it's beautiful. Now I'm using the shade Mean from the Full Spectrum Palette and the Royal and Lane Nickel Brush. And I'm adding a nice pop of green at the bottom because it's spring and I just love green eyeshadow to be honest. And I think it adds nice. Now I'm taking Gold Mine and I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that. It's a nice yellow gold. And I think it, I think it's a good color. It's a good color, yeah. Now I'm using the Laura Geller Dramana Drama Lash. Mascara. It's very volumizing. I got this on Black Friday and I've been in love with it ever since. I haven't ran out yet. I always end up losing it, so I haven't ran out yet because I always have to like switch it up. Now I'm putting Tea and Cookies on by NYX Liquid Suede. I've already applied it. I forgot to hit record, so I'm just kind of showing it to you. Sorry about that. Here's the outfit we with. went with. It's the H&M floral shirts and the high-waisted shorts that I thrifted and pink flats. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.